Hey, it's me, Mr. J, and welcome to today's drawing challenge. Do you have a couple minutes? Because today's challenge is draw a sleeping bear. So grab something to draw on and something to draw with, and let's do this. It's time to draw a cozy, snuggled up sleeping bear. Bears sleep most of the winter in hibernation, so place and space matters. So before we begin, let's just ask ourselves some important questions. Does he have a blanket? Is there a giant bed? Does he have his own teddy bear? These details matter, my friends. But first, let's begin with some simple shapes. So, the head. We're going to start with two little bumps for the ears and a round for the head. Around. Okay, so there's our little bear head. And then it's back, boom, and a foot. Do you see how we went around there? And add a little bit more. And then it's two front legs. Up and around, up and around. See how it looks like he's resting on those legs? Oh, and we gotta add in the claws. All right, now to make our bear look like it's sleeping, we can do two little bumps. And then, oh, it's a little muzzle around its nose. And its nose, and down. There's a sleeping bear. I need, I'm gonna add a blanket to mine. Definitely a blanket. So what are you gonna add? Are you gonna add a teddy bear, a bed? Look at this little striped blanket. It doesn't even completely fit him. There he is. Now that we have our sleeping bear, let's think about what the space around him looks like. I don't have a ton of room left on my page here, but maybe he's in a cave or a cozy bedroom. The space we create for the bear will help him sleep through some long winter days and nights. I'm gonna make mine look like it's in a cave. So I'm gonna do a big bump around and flat underneath him. Boom, boom. Oh, that looks like the perfect cozy cave for my sleeping bear. Yeah. So let's check in. When a bear is snuggly and sleeping, it feels warm and safe. What would the bear's face look like if it was feeling safe? What does your face look like when you feel safe? Maybe you have a hint of a smile. Your face and body are relaxed. You might even close your eyes entirely. When we feel safe, we aren't scared or worried that we will be hurt or in danger. Take a moment and really think about how your body feels when you are in a safe place. Feeling safe. It means we are relaxed and feel free from harm or danger. Feeling safe affects our actions, our feelings, and our whole body. Sometimes we feel safe when we're around certain people. They may comfort us or make us feel included. I have a good friend. When I'm around him, I feel like I can completely be myself and even be super silly and enjoy myself. I feel safe and relaxed when we are together. Other times, we can find safety in a specific place. It could be a cozy corner, somewhere familiar, where we have control of our surroundings, somewhere calm. You know, each of us may need a different kind of place to feel safe. It may be your room, or sitting with a big stuffed animal, or maybe it's a library filled with books, or a classroom. I have a big cozy chair that sits in the corner of a room in my house. The moment I sit in this chair, my whole body relaxes. I feel like I am calm and safe. And what about when you find yourself watching maybe something scary? or when a dramatic part of a TV show makes you feel uncomfortable. For me, a blanket sometimes makes me feel the most safe, warm, and protected. I can then use the blanket to cover my eyes from scary things. Feeling safe is important, whether it is with someone you care about, in a special place, or with a snuggly blanket. You can use your drawing to start a conversation with a parent or trusted adult about when and where you feel the most safe. And then there are our bears. I can only imagine the cozy sleeping bear you created. Here's mine.
Thanks for joining me today as we drew a sleeping bear. I look forward to seeing you next time for another drawing challenge.